the general landed with many banners spread to the sound of trumpets and the salute of artillery. As I had gone ashore the evening before, I took a cross and went to meet him, singing the hymn, Te Deum Laudamus. The general, followed by all who accompanied him, marched up to the cross, knelt, and kissed it. A large number of Indians watched these proceedings and imitated all that they saw. This is what Father Francisco López de Mendoza Grajales write in his journal about that fateful day in what would become St. Augustine, Florida. After this grand entrance, Father Grajales celebrated the first Catholic Mass in what would become the United States. Because it was September the 8th, the Nativity of the Blessed Virgin would be celebrated. Interesting to note, Eucharist, or rather in Latin, Eucharistia, literally means Thanksgiving. After Mass, the Spanish and Timucua would share a Thanksgiving feast, the Spanish in particular giving thanks to God for having safely passed the Atlantic. The menu of what the Timucua and Spanish shared for their meal has been speculated on by historians. The Spanish would have likely had rations of leftovers, like hard sea biscuits, and likely made cocido, a stew made with pork, garlic, garbanzos, and vegetables. They also may have had chickens and pigs on board as well. And we can safely assume that wine would have been served and merriment would have ensued. The Timucua tribe's diet would have been made up of locally available food. This meant alligator, venison, gopher tortoise, and maybe even wild turkey could have been on the plate, as well as corn and stewed pumpkin. They also consumed much seafood, like turtle, shark, catfish, and lots of archaeological findings have shown many oyster shells in the area. They would have shared the foods that were most intimate and personal for both of these different peoples and cultures. Whatever they ate, it must have been pretty different from the usual Thanksgiving plate. Thank you for watching. If you didn't know the first Thanksgiving was actually in Florida, well, now you do.